Credit card debt. There are currently over 13 million active credit cards in Australia, with a national debt accruing interest of 18.2 billion dollars. I have $30,000 in credit card debt. Chances are you're like me and you have a credit card that you're trying to pay off. So today I wanted to challenge myself to pay off this $500 debt that I currently have outstanding by buying thrift store items and selling them on eBay for a profit. I'm ready to clear this debt, man. Let's get into it. Well, it's a great start to our little challenge here, guys. The stitching that I always look for on the back pocket. If you can find that stitching, you know you're in for a good pair of jeans. The brand is new and they go for 50 bucks each. And I've actually got two pairs here as well. So I'm paying 15, I'm turning them into 50, 30 into $100 worth of value here. I don't really do jeans too much anymore, but if I am ever to pick a pair up, it is gonna be what you're seeing right here with the brand new. It is a good one to be looking for. Uh, I've got this one here as well, a bit of a cross between Burton and New Era. Era, two really good brands in collaboration here. This is an awesome hat, guys. Uh, if you could be finding this uh, brand in all, it's actually a snowboarding brand for those that haven't heard of it. Um, so any sort of snow gear, you're going to do very well. I should be able to get about 30 bucks for that. And then I've also got this one here. Now, this is a woolen blend, uh, a, a Philadelphia 76ers NBA hat here. And Mitchell and Ness, another really good hat brand. I've gone ahead and picked that up for the 15 bucks. Should turn into 40. All right, guys, we are underway, but albeit a pretty slow start with just the four items coming out of that little haul. Uh, look, I spent 50 bucks. The total estimated resale value of all of that is $170. When you put it into the e-profit calculator, you're looking at about a $66 profit. But guys, we are dealing with a credit card today, unfortunately. And as we know, there are interest rates that need to be applied to these credit cards. Now, 19.94% is the average credit card interest rate here in Australia. So I'm going to have to apply that to the debt outstanding of $433. So I believe that we are at a nasty $87 addition for this little challenge that we're on. And we're actually on $520 currently owing on this credit card. So these, these interest rate uh, add-ons are pretty nasty, but um, four items down, 170 bucks worth of value. And yet we're now 20 bucks worse off than when we first started. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm back in my natural habitat and check this out. We've got Grassroots Series 2 on DVD. It goes to about $60. A huge TV show for you guys to be looking out for. And check this out as well. We've got Lex every single episode. Seasons 1 to 4, 2 bucks a piece. Goes into about $70. Thanks very much. I'll be taking that one home with me. I've got the bridge here, seasons one and three, two bucks a piece. Uh, that was good as well. So the media section came through. I've got these in the shoe section. Have a look at these. I've got the Adidas Ultra Boosts. Uh, look, a really clean pair of shoes at 27 bucks. I'm gonna do that. I reckon that should turn into about $80. And you wouldn't believe it, guys. I found a third pair of nerdy jeans, a $15 price point. Yet again, we're talking some pretty high numbers here on these jeans. I'm gonna go for about 60 bucks for these lean deans, 31 waist, 32 length. I've got some jorts here as well in the GC start brand these are very good guys check out the comps on these yep you're talking between 50 to 60 dollars on those as well so i'm picking that up for 15. now i dove back into the media section at another store and i found this skate three game a three dollar cheeky little purchase here goes into about 20 bucks that was an awesome video game collect hopefully we can find a few more of those today and then i've got these as well a big haul of dvds as you can see here i am searching for tv shows and i'm finding some good ones have a look at that harlots season one if you can be finding that you'll do yourself some favors now all of these dvds were comping up between 15 to 25 30 bucks a piece and i only paid a dollar a piece in the thrift so go and find yourself some dvds well, guys, we had to pick up the pace, and we definitely have a total of 20 listings that are going to go into my eBay store out of that second run. If we have a look at the cold hard numbers for you, it was a total of $525 worth of value. The purchase price was $93 in that run. Uh, so we're now looking after interest at $316 to pay back. So $316, bucks, we have been able to knock off a good $184 so far in two runs. But with two runs to go, we've got to get a wriggle on. If I'm honest, guys, the shoe category has been fairly slow for me over the last few months, so it's really nice to start to see a few more here in the thrift. These Nike shoes were in pretty good condition, 
and the comps on eBay were telling me sort of $40 to $45. So I'm gonna pick them up just because we are short in supply. I've got these as well, the Adidas Torsions. So I've sold these a number of times before. I should get about 40 bucks for those, and I'm buying them, there they are there, for just the 10 bucks. These as well, these were the Speed Ride New Balance. Look, they are an entry level of Newey. Uh, but look, I'm only paying the $6, aren't I? So a really cheap purchase price for what was a pretty decent pair of shoes in good condition. Should get about 40 there. JFK, now this one's actually gone on already to sell for me, guys. I got a $40 sale price on that one there. A $10 purchase price. So that was a good little flip. Um, these are a good pair of jeans too, guys. We've got the uh, Levi Strauss. These are the 511s. So a 31 waist, a 32 length on those. Uh, a pretty good size and a pretty good purchase price there at the $7. So that was a good little net result. This one as well, they've got the Adidas NMD R1s. We've had a really good little shoe run here, guys. $15. It's the most I'll pay for a pair of shoes. So that was really good to see. Uh, back into the media, guys. $10 on the Matrix. A Blu-ray set here. This is a really good little collection. Always looking for collections when I'm in the media. They just comp up to be worth a little bit more. Some latter seasons here as well here with Top Gear season 12 was doing me wonders. Uh, and then some video game guys, $5. I've never seen so many video games in one thrift store. Have a look at all of these. These have all popped up to be worth around the $20 to $25. So I'm happy to pay the five bucks a piece for those. That was an awesome come up. That's about $100 worth of value for the 25 bucks that you're seeing right there. These ASICS footy boots, Footy boots is a really good category, guys. If you're not in this space just yet, do some research, spend some time in the category. Uh, $12 should convert into about 50 bucks for me. Very, very happy to find them. Uh, and the shoes weren't over, guys. Have a look at these. Got a pair of Nike Vintage. These are the Blazer Mids, uh, the 77s. These are an awesome pair of shoes. Should get about $85 for these. I've actually paid up. $35 was the spend, but I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident they will come through for me, and you wouldn't believe it. I found a game that I found in just the last store before. We got the game Fear. It goes for about 20 bucks, so that was a good little finish. Well, guys, a pretty successful op shop run number three. I really feel good about this challenge now, and hopefully we can tick it off. Uh, I spent a total of $158 in that run. There was $565 worth of estimated resale value. When you take out the fees of posting cost of goods, we're down to $228 worth of profit, and then you've got to put on that nasty bit of interest that we've got to apply today. So we're looking at $105 worth of expected profit in the last run of the day to achieve our $500 debt collect challenge. So hopefully we can do it. Hey guys, before I did just jump into that last run, I did want to say, 43% of you guys are watching these videos and you have not yet hit that subscribe button down the bottom there. It's a small little red button that takes no effort whatsoever, yet it has a huge effect on the success of this channel. So if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and whack it now and we'll dive into the last run of the day. Afternoon coffees. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if that is a wise move and whether or not you're doing it too. Um, guys, last op shop run of the day. We need $104 here, and this one really did catch my eye given the scenario at play. Uh, 45 bucks, we've got the Brother AX325. Comps on eBay, pretty good. A couple around the $130 price point. I'd, I'd be picking it up for $45. Uh, in the end, though, I did pass on it. It's just not in my wheelhouse, not something I usually sell. So I did just leave it behind. Katmandu, this is a really nice jacket here, guys. Uh, NGX, if you search up NGX Katmandu, there's some really good comps. The size 18, it was a $14 purchase price. There was some pretty good comps on eBay, but just given the quality in the end, uh, I left that one behind. Um, there was this one as well. There were a bunch of PC DVD games, uh, two bucks a piece. As you can see here, quite a large selection. I thought I might have been able to find a grail just hiding in the mix, but uh, literally every single one of these was a dud. Um, just not worthwhile, um, which was a little bit disappointing because I thought I was in for something good there. Um, now the books. This is where my day has really ended on a high, guys. Check this out. We've got the Del Toro Quest book series. Now, I don't do books so much anymore as I used to. I used to do quite a number of books, and it was the Del Toro Quests that sold really well for me. So we've got Del Toro Quest 3. We've got Del Toro Quest 2, and then we've got the first installment as well. And when you add all of them up, that's a complete series set. It goes for $120 per the comps that you can see there. So guys, have we been able to achieve with the Del Toro Quest series our budget? Well, unfortunately, it was just the Del Toro Quest books that we're able to come away with there. $77 worth of profit, and ultimately, that means we've fallen short of our goal by just $27. If there's one thing that I've learned out of this challenge today, it is to try and avoid the use of a credit card wherever possible. Those interest rates today were absolutely brutal, and ultimately, they've cost us a challenge. There is another really important aspect of this video today, and that is to try and find the good items that actually go on to sell on eBay. There's a video that I really encourage you guys to watch 
right here, which breaks down some awesome items that you can find in thrift stores to sell on eBay for a profit. Enjoy that video. We'll see you soon.